Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Hopefully you are doing well in this rainy weather which is a perfect opportunity to sit indoors and practice some drums Right, let me know if you can hear me or not and and then we can get started Right, let's crack on. Right, today we are doing blues, and um, blues is an interesting one uh, because it comes from a place where um, it's not where technique and stuff like that is. It's all about feel and stuff like that. So with all that in mind. Here's a technique you'll be using. <laughs> okay, so we're doing shuffles today. A lot of the shuffle we're going to be doing with the hands and stuff like that, and as well as some on the foot as well. Uh, I'll just demonstrate some of the groove we're doing today. Uh, there's uh, three that I mainly want to get you guys doing today, which is we we have the slow calf, slow blues calf thing, which is. Which is like a slow blues kind of thing. We have, uh, which would be on tracks like uh, "Need Your Love So Bad." Um, do we have a prime example of it? Is it? Yes, it is. Uh, so let's break that groove down firstly. So what have we got? We have, we are in triplets, and each beat we are playing three notes per beat. So we go So let's break this down a little bit, okay. Uh we have it, the whole, the whole, all this blues thing we're doing today, it will have this kind of feel to it, which is the uh, get there, get there, get there, get there, that kind of feel to it. So, bear that in mind. The first beat we have bass drum on the first note of the triplets and the last note of the triplets. So you go one and uh. So one and uh two. Okay. And then we ha and then we go and go over to the next section. We have one and a uh, two and a uh, three, a uh, three. Okay. So and then we repeat the pattern again, kind of thing. So we go one and a uh, two and a uh, three and a uh, four and a uh, one and a uh, two and. Uh, that 
will be the, the main kind of uh, pattern going on here. Uh huh. Uh, let me just uh, double check that ev everyone can see me okay? Good. I think everyone can see me fine. Uh, right, so we have, like, we'll do it together quite slowly. It's a very slow kind of beat in this, this particular one. Uh, worth noting as well, uh, if you can do this, is that you need to put some emphasis on the quarter notes. Uh, okay, so we have one. So that's the um, slow blues thing that we can do. Uh, right. And so now we we want to speak, we want to speak just a little bit. Um, not not a, a lot of the time. This group is not going playing that fast. Um, sometimes it's known as twelve eight. Sometimes it's you know for for us drum drummers it's like it's four by playing triplets really. But a lot of the time it's called twelve eight as well. So if you were to count 12, it'll be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's uh, difficult to count, so you will count it. 1, 2, 3, 4. I can't think. Okay. We're going to play a little bit faster. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this is the difficult one, where we're playing it really slowly, okay. Uh, that just now, that what kind of steel we're playing, we, is the kind of like a, like a hoochie goochie man kind of, kind of uh, tempo. I'm a hoochie goochie man, a kind of tempo, so it's quite reasonable tempo, okay. We're going to play it really slowly this time really focus on the feel of it think of it as it shuffle around think of it like um like um like an egg rolling down a hill get him get him get him like a train you know that's kind of train or like um sometimes you hit a speed bum you wasn't quite expecting it get him yeah get him that kind of feel okay all right so let's do it really slowly set uh, four.
chorus, you can take it to the right symbol for the chorus as well, or, some, or whatever, you know, blues happen to be, which will sound something like this. And then you will play the uh, hi-hat on the 2 and 4, there if you, if you so wish, or you can play on every other, um, every other note. If, end up with some really weird rhythm which just meh okay now th this is now next bit is we're doing a shuffle this is like a really basic car shuffle um, it's a common one it's one of those one that you kind of know you kind of have to know uh, as, a, as one or a have to know pattern as a drummer um, we are shuffling on the hi-hat we are playing um, the bass drum on one and three, snare drum on two and four, so you go, you have this, uh, oh, I'll demonstrate it, much easier, ah, wrong one, so you have, uh, that's kind of, the shuffling is on the hi-hat, one, one, two, three, four, now one, so to make this pattern sounds nice um, is that you're accenting the, uh, the the note that's on the beat on the hi-hats yes so you go one a two a three a four a one a two a three a four I'll try to do that on the uh, on on the stick here so you can see a bit better so you go one a two a three a four a one a two a three a So you, no, not that one, nice, so you have, um, where was I, yes, so that, that note there is just like a tap and then it's coming down, a tap, to really exaggerate it, tap, 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 like that, okay, so let so with that in mind, see if we can play it together slowly. So we have now uh, 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 and one, two, three, and uh, four. Uh, one, So that's your really slow car kind of shuffle. Normally this car kind of shuffle is played at a slightly faster tempo, but we'll work towards there. 
So do you, you go to temple should be about this counts. One, two, three, four. That should be about the tempo that you would normally play this kind of this particular pattern at. Okay, so here we go. We have uh, 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 so we can play a little bit, little bit faster, not too far, much faster though. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. Really focus on those quarter notes. That should be about the, should be should be okay so far. Uh, you uh, as you get faster, you your that pumping motion on your hand, you get kind of less and less movement. So bear that in mind. It's like a pumping thing. Like like you hit a speed bump. <laughs> okay, let me say. Part of which, of course, is actually train beat. It was inspired. It was this thing was inspired by train beats. Okay, now we're going a little bit faster than that. Hopefully, you do all doing okay with this one. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. So now uh, we can go go even faster than this, you know. It's um, that was kind of like Sweet Home Chicago kind of tempo, you know. Uh, if you don't know the song, check it out. Uh, it's a very relevant song. And uh, we 
And if you go any faster than that, would be like kind of like Thin Lizzy, um, Boys Back in Town kind of tempo. how it goes but yeah it's got a kind of tempo yeah cool right so we can go a little bit faster but actually what I want to do now is to bring in the right symbol on this one right symbol and then we're gonna play the hi-hats on uh, the quarter notes if you can uh, so it will be something like this Okay, so we got bringing the rise symbol. Okay, cool. Are we do it really slowly this time? Back to back down to a slower tempo now. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. would be like a ride on a ride normally you when the guitar is taking a solo you would then go from the hi-hats go to the rise cymbal on, on the hi-hats the singer is doing like oh my baby left me that kind of stuff and then you're and then the guitar solo come in which will last about half a day between half a day to about two weeks or something like that and how, how long it lasts and then you, you know go, you go on the rise cymbal guitar solo happens <laughs> And then they would do it on there. You, that's kind of the thing you would do. Now, we're going to do a... Huh. Yeah, and what we're going to do uh, on the next pattern here, which will be um, the more Texas shuffle, it's called. Texas shuffle. So we have uh, this. So this the main difference between that kind of really standard kind of shuffle we do just now into the um, this Texas Chicago kind of shuffle is that we're now shuffling on both hands, which is can be demanding on your left hand because you are doing the same thing as your right hand, which normally you don't do that because normally you will be playing every now and again with your left hand. Um, with your left hand whilst you're doing most of the work with your right hand like a pan like this that kind of pattern you have you know eighth note pattern your right hand doing a lot of work left hand is only doing one beat here and there and then now shuffling on both hands uh, it's really easy for us to get out I'll, I'll first demonstrate how it's supposed to sound to the best of my ability because it's a difficult pattern So 
I've noticed how both of my hands are moving at the same pace. So we have then, now we have this, uh, so this is very important. Your right hand is doing one, two, three, four. Your left hand is doing one. And then we have four on the floor on the bass drum. Okay. So we have this thing all together. Now, so you can either hit that two and four harder, literally hit it harder, or sometimes I like to play the other note to the side of the drum. To they are just naturally a little bit thinner sounding, kind of cheating really a little bit. Uh, so you get so I can't do it. Damage, I can't really see that well. Yeah, this is a much trainy sounding pattern. So I'll play it really slowly. And we'll always go from there, really. So, one, two, That will be your Texas, Chicago, whatever shuffle this is called. And uh, we'll play together very slowly. We have uh, this. Uh, uh. Uh, one, two, three, four. Now that we've got that, we are going to play it a little bit faster, obviously. Worth pointing out something though, that uh, when I was first start playing this pattern, I will have uh, the, the groove kind of go a little bit wonky. I end up having, I'm accenting the first note of the two, of the doubles, which will be on the uh, upbeat of the shuffle, which is kind of weird. I can't do it. Ah, can I do it? We get that kind of thing going on, which just doesn't feel that nice. So bear that, do bear that in mind. That is really natural thing to do because you, that is like your your beat where you, arm um, kind of come up. So make sure you don't do that and start from a lower position from that, for that beat. So. You go, So it's, again, it's like the molar technique where you're whipping someone. Okay, so we'll so let's do it together again. Okay, all right. Uh, what?
Well, well, that pattern. So, uh, we can take it a little bit faster still, obviously. Now, I'll, sometimes I like to do it from the left hand. Even doing like that. Because this kind of pattern, this pattern particularly, have if you're both hand playing a very similar thing and your snare drum sometimes can be quite sensitive so may, sometimes it's easier to just to play that with your open handed especially when it gets a little bit more hotter but then that will be like a train beat more like so let's do it a little bit faster still um, uh, we have uh, one, two, one, two, three. as far as I can play it to be honest okay so now that is that pattern we're going to play it on the right cymbal as well again you know it's when the, when you're doing it's slightly the one we go to you go to that cymbal when your guitar solo happens you know they're playing for about two weeks on the old guitar solo and you know you don't you normally go there um Okay, let's do this. Uh -huh. One, two, one, two, three. Probably wouldn't play that one much more, much faster than that. Uh, so now we have been through the the slow blues. We have done some shuffles. 
and um, so now it's worth for us to know about a half time shuffle. Half time shuffle is a difficult one to um, uh, to get into. So this is it's not difficult to get into. It's um, it's less often used uh, half time shuffles. Uh, I haven't had to play many half time shuffles. I played a few and I and I was quite happy to play those because they're great. Uh, they're great to play. Um, so you, it's worth saying that you know you need to make sure that your right hand or left hand technique depends on whichever you want to shuffle on, whichever hand. That is all kind of conf confident on, because you will be doing it. Your right hand is actually doing quite a lot of work there, so it's worth for us to slow that down a little bit. You would, when you're playing a half-time shuffle, it's um, the best tips I can give is that you are counting kind of like quarter notes, kind of thing. You're counting quarter notes, kind of thing. Like you must think of it like an eighth note pattern as opposed to one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. You're more of you are you are in your head you're thinking more like one, three, one. You're thinking that kind of thing because you are placing your accent on the sh on the right hand shuffle. On the beat. On the beat, yes? So we have Very slowly, it's worth doing really slowly. One, two, three, four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, two, a three, a four, a one, two, a three, four, a one, a two, a three, four, a one, a two, a three, a four. Ah, damn it, one. That's a half time shuffle. Great song to listen to. Half time shuffle one. You have quite a few that you can um, you can you can have have a, have a listen to. Um, we have um, half time shuffle, half time shuffle. Rosanna, that's a really famous one. That we do uh, rock time half time shuffle one. Uh, Rosanna by Toto, done by the great uh, Vinny Kalayuda. I believe, I want to say, yes. So that's that one. We won't go into that one a little bit too much because that is a whole lesson in itself. But we just quick recap on the songs, the songs, the pattern blue, blue pattern we have done. We have a slow blues, which was kind of like need your love so bad, Gucci Gucci man kind of kind of speed. Um, so we have. So that's the old car, that kind of thing, really slow blues. And then we have a ba ding. And then we have uh, also the really standard car kind of shuffle. We have we're shuffling on the hi hats. We can go to. And then we have finally the Texas slash Chicago slash 
shuffle thing. Uh, which we are shuffling on both of our both of our hands. We're still placing the accents on the two and four on which are on our snare drum. And we are playing four on the floor with our uh, bass drum. We have That is the or Texas slash Chicago type shuffle, and then we have um, finally we have briefly talked about the halftime shuffle, which uh, we can listen to. Oh, by the both uh, two shuffle we had before, you can you can hear that in a lot of songs. Um, if you like, you know you got Finn Lizzy playing. Um, Boys back in town. That's the really standard kind of shuffle. With you got a pushed um, hi hat opening and the crash symbol in it. Uh, but other than that, most of the song is going. We got that going on, and then also "Sweet Sweet from Chicago" by uh, I want to say Eric Clapton, but I think you know that was Blues Brother doing it. I was mis. Uh, that's, I'm sure that oh, uh, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure myself. But Sweet Home Chicago is a really good one. Um, well, I think I can actually play it. That Texas Chicago shuffle. Oh, uh, which I can't sing, so whatever. And then finally, we briefly touched down on the halftime shuffle, which is only facing the back beats on beat three of each bar we do have it so that will be all of our shuffling thing um, blues is quite it's it's quite um, it's quite free form and improvising kind of, kind of thing both should give you some basic for you to um, learn to play the blues to get you going those are the, those were the ones that got me going uh, into playing blues um, the, on, the best way to learn to play the blues um, after knowing these is to listen to a lot of blues like BB King, Howling Wolf, um, even older ones like older Detroit blues like uh, Robert Johnson, you know the Crossroads kind of thing. Um, you know to listen to those things, ha see how they feel. Um, yeah, um, even like more new newer kind of kind of. Um, I want to say new, but he's not new. Joe Bonamassa, he does a lot of blues as well, but it's uh, more modern kind of recording, uh, high high fidelity recording that he does. So you can kind of hear more the details, and um, you know, and there is other blues rock artists as well um, worth listening to. There are more younger ones as well, Ollie Brown, The King Kings. Um, you can listen to those to really go and get the idea of it. Um, I want to say, like, you know, the best way to learn to play them is to play them with other people. But obviously, we can't right now because of the lockdown. Um, but trying to l learn to listen to the track, uh, those ones I saw, I told you about, and oh yeah, Toto. Uh, that's a lot as well. Um, they do halftime shuffle. They do the one, the triplet one as well. Hold the line, which is down, 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 down. Uh, 
Yeah, whatever, however it goes. But that is also a um, triplet type thing. Uh, the one we saw earlier, but played a little bit faster. Um, oh, that's, oh, that's one really good one that I don't think I can actually play because it was a drum machine playing this song. It's the uh, song by CV Wonder, um, Part Time Lover. Um, they have a triplet thing on the hi hats. It's basically. Play fast, <laughs> play really fast because it's that. Uh, which is, uh, it's too fast for my hands. I think in your favor of hands, you play that around if you really want to play it. Um, yeah, that's, that's all the example I can currently think of. Um, so, gonna keep it early one tonight, uh, since it's a bit of a quiet night. So, if, if you have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, you know, invite you know people to my channel. I, I would love to you know, teach more people about things. Um, I will how little I know about drums, I suppose. And uh, also, um, you know, I want to get another little camera somewhere so I can actually film my spots. I, I, I think that's a, that's a really good one to do. So any help you can get. And um, and also I want to you know, um, stream other platforms as well to um, you know get, get sort of more easy access to people. So uh, yes, I'm gonna drink my tea. And then I'm gonna sign out. Thank you very much for watching or and um, subscribe to my channel. Bye.